begging? Isn't that rude? Why on earth would you want to teach your dog to beg? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Pam from Agile Canines and I want to help you keep your dog as fit, healthy and happy for as long as possible with weekly conditioning exercises filmed on location in the beautiful west of Scotland. So if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, hit that subscribe and come back every week. So the sit up and beg exercise. This can be seen as a cute or sometimes annoying trick. I actually named this trick for my dogs as please rather than beg because people prefer that rather than a begging dog. So although this just seems a daft trick, it actually helps condition your dog as well because it builds their core muscles and good strong core muscles help stabilize and keep the back supported. You can teach this exercise by lowering the dog's head up from a sitting position and then rewarding when their paws come a little off the ground. You can also make this easier in the beginning by offering a hand or arm or other object for the dogs to rest their paws on. This is also a good follow-up from having the dog sit with their paws on a raised surface. Many breeds can benefit from this exercise that might surprise you. This is Anushka, she's a Leonberger which is a giant breed and everyone was surprised that she's able to do this trick but she has a lovely strong core. Now she was never forced to do this exercise, you should never be pressuring your dogs but if they easily follow the lure and seem comfortable then this is a great, a great conditioning exercise. For some breeds or individual dogs, it might be the case that they're always comfortable holding on to something, but if you're starting to feel that they're lifting their paws away from your hand and getting balanced by themselves, then you can move on to the next step. And once they're comfortable holding a begging position, then try and build up the duration, just half a second at a time up until you get them to holding for about five seconds. And just like all the other exercises we've been talking about, you want to build up that duration, a short amount, reward in between so the dog holds it for a second and reward them the dog holds it for a second and a half reward until they're comfortable now different dogs are going to be able to balance differently so just really take your time building up slowly for the individual dog as you can see with my dogs Ben is very comfortable balancing in this position and always has been but it's a bit more of a balancing act for Mia just because she's built differently now remember if you see any changes in activity or behavior of your dog check with your vet and always check with your vet or breeder if any activities are suitable for the age and breed of your dog. Thank you so much for joining me and come back every week for more canine conditioning exercises.